Good morning, welcome to Sparkle Thorn Designs. Today I thought we would look at starting a junk journal. Uh, we are getting ready to begin February. I can't believe January went by so quickly. Um, so I thought we would talk about some of the supplies that I use and some of the things that I've been wanting to do and then maybe you can take that and apply that to however you would like to set up your junk journal. I've seen so many different things whether it be just what they call, I guess, a glue book to kind of scrapbooking. Um, a lot of them have more layers and pictures and ephemera and things than actual journaling. I actually like to put a lot of words into mine, kind of like a diary slash journal. Um, I am still learning, so it's been an interesting process. My December was very... Christmassy and pretty, but didn't have a whole lot of content because I was at home uh, after my surgery. My January has been a little bit better, I think. Um, but here we go. So, this I keep full of pens, paint, paint markers, the thin sharpies because since my pages are double double thickness um, I'm able to use them and they don't bleed through I've got a highlighter in here I've got some pencils and I know this is a makeup bag that came with some stuff that I got from Ulta but uh, I've been using it for my pens and my markers and then uh, this probably will change a little bit but I've been using these things to hold all of my, I guess you could say monthly things that I want to use inside the journal. And then that way I've just kind of got it in a hand's reach. Um, I've been sitting in our family room uh, in a chair and then the chair next to me, I've just basically piled high with all my stuff. But I just put things like here's Here's a card that I got at Dollar Tree. I think I hauled all my stickers. I've still got some Christmas stuff in here, but I've also got, you know, a pair of scissors, my foam tape. I don't see it right now, but I usually have my double-sided glue tape in here as well. <clears throat> Oh, here it is <laughs> and this too I just have a bunch of stickers and things that that I might want to use that <clears throat> these were some some freebies some freebies that I downloaded that were washi tapes that were I thought were really cute and I thought oh, you know what I bet I could use those so I printed those out on sticker paper because I do love me some sticker paper that is for sure not, a, not everything I have is sticker paper. I do have some that's, that are just regular paper. Ribbon. I made me a couple of Christmas tree trees to put as little dangles whenever I get around to making them. I've got a really pretty, oh here it is. I've got a really pretty pink one as well that I've actually kind of, I haven't put anything together yet but I've been working on it, on the things that I actually want to include. I can't seem to grab anything this morning. Hope everybody's having a fantastic day. It's supposed to, it's not, it's not the tree of life, it's a double heart. Shows, shows how much I've looked at that recently. Um, we're supposed to be getting some snow this week, so I'm kind of excited and looking forward to being able just to lays around in the evenings and take a quick little look at the pretty snow. Um, in this one, I have sorted some of my stickers, and that one, of course, says miscellaneous stickers, spring and summer, whimsical. There's just a bunch of different ones so that it's not just stickers. Some of it's just ephemera that uh, is just closer for when I need it, and I'm my craft room, you guys, is just an absolute disaster. 
I've been trying to work on it um, since I'm a little bit better for my surgery, but going back to work and all of that has just been time consuming. I'm sure you guys remember this. So if we flip on over to February, I have put together my February page and these beads, they're supposed to be self stick, but I guess I got some duds. They're from the Dollar Tree. And so I just glued them on. And then these are both from scrapbook paper that I got at Hobby Lobby the day after Christmas that was on sale. Used my Cricut to cut this out. This is actually Dollar Tree vinyl and it is very thin but it did a really good job i put it on a washi tape setting and cut it out and the hearts some of the hearts were a trial because they're small and the paper the, the vinyl is very very thin but to put it on a project inside a notebook i just thought that was a great 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 and then this is one of my little freebie stickers that i found online that i of course put on sticker paper and cut out <clears throat> I have my, whoops, my Aspire Word, my February calendar. Got the pocket, which I'm not real happy with. And honestly, I like the idea of the pocket, but I think with the way I've been doing my journal stuff, I think, um, I think that, uh, I'm just not sure that I like having that inside. I did create me a calendar for February for my content. I plan on uploading on Mondays, but I thought it turned out pretty cute. I'm gonna do my no spending on this page for my goal sheet. And then I just use some sticker paper. Just regular paper will work. Just use glue stick, you know, some tacky glue, some Elmer's glue, whatever you've got on hand will work. Uh, if you do use the tacky glue or the Elmer's glue, you need to put on just a very, very light coat or else your pages will all crimp, crimp up and, and, and maybe maybe that's the look you're going for. But anyway, so I've got my, got my first day in there. And I did print those out on the Cricut I think I have said before, I think actually these actually cut out correctly, but I have had some crazy trouble with my Cricut wanting to do anything that I need it to do. And it will usually print me out one set of sticker sheets and cut, or like cut them out for me. And then after that, it's like, mm, no, I can't read those lines. It is the most frustrating thing. So <clears throat> anyway, I haven't done a whole lot yet. I did... As you can see, let me just set this up here. I did put washi down the side. And as you can see, I have put washi down all the pages. Well, except for in the very back. And that's the end of the journal. You're supposed to tear out seven pages in the front and seven pages in the back. And I believe that gives you a, a flat almost two months. Um, I have one month written down, so it may just be one, but I'm pretty sure it's two months. Um, and I thought about taking and putting, squeezing March in, and I just decided that, that that really wasn't how, I didn't want to be squeezing stuff in, especially as much as I like to write in mine. Um, but uh, coming back a little bit. Got my page here where I just cut a heart out. So, I mean, you can pretty much do anything you want to do. And then moving on, this is my February the 14th page. And I'll probably put some, like, plain white type of stickers or paper or something on here so that I can write about Valentine's Day. I know that uh, Mr. Sparklethorn has made some plans. Um, I'm not sure what all we got on the agenda. And I don't know that we'll actually do it on February the 14th because... Uh, we don't like the whole crowds thing, so we'll probably do it either the weekend before or the weekend after. Moving on, here is, 
let's see, let's put that back there. My March, April, and May. And yeah, I said I wasn't squeezing stuff in, but on this one, what I think I'm going to do is all these extra pages that I have at the end of my January. I'm gonna cut them out and I'm gonna stick them in, oops, various places. I'm losing my stickers that I'm thinking about. Um, I'm gonna stick them in, in here in different places so that I have enough room for everything. But I found, I found this, this, and this all in free SVGs. And then I just did a print, a print and cut, but my, as I said, my Cricut doesn't like to cut things. So I just printed these out and then um, individually cut them out and put them on there. And then my March, I just used, um, I just used my Cricut and did the words and then I did the little little lines on the side and I know that's got a specific name that I just can't think about. Uh-oh. So I have a pocket. This is what this is supposed to be. This is supposed to be a pocket and I cannot decide if I want to do a pocket or not. So entry, In interesting, but I've got my bucket list that I want to do for March ideas, and then I've got my calendar, my Aspire word, and then this one is pretty much blank. I have pretty much only, only gotten all the washi tape. I have stuck stickers in various, various places of things that I want to use, and again, these, these are so cute. Let me show you. Um, First of all, I made this one humongous because I just, my birthday's in May. So I thought this was so cute. Another free SVG PNG. I'm not sure which one it was. Um, and one thing that you, you may or may not know, you probably already know, but I'll tell you anyway. <clears throat> if you order online at Etsy and you order some of the SVGs, typically they come with a PNG and a JPEG counterparts. So you could use them for, for different things, not just the SVG portion. So something to keep in mind if you know, you're looking for something cute and you're like, oh man, I don't have a cut machine. Well, a lot of those, if you'll read about it too, it'll tell you that it comes with, with the PNG and the SVG. So you know, you're not just wasting your money. Okay, so here are some more freebies that I picked up online. And just little cute little balloons. Cute little cupcake. Little bitty hearts. And of course, I'm smaller version of the, the big balloons. I think these were cute little kawaii. That's how you say it. I love those. Um, have a little rain. Nope, not rainbow. A happy birthday sign. Well, that didn't help, did it? I'm sorry. Let's do this the right way. Um, cute little rainbow. Little presents. And I just figure, I mean, the present could be for Valentine's Day. It could be for birthday. And I just love these little April showers type things. There's my cute little bunny. There's a little party bear. There's a little party thing. Made kind of a mess here. Here is the cute little birthday cake. Here's another little gift. So those are some of the ones, I just cut those out not too long ago. Um, let me look and see if I've stuck anything else in here. I think, I think that was all that I stuck in here. But, uh, oh, oh, here's a few more. Let's see, what are those? Yeah. I don't know if you'll find those too terribly interesting. Cute little tea, teacup with a flower in it. I heart flowers. 
So here's the thing is if you've got a printer and you've got some paper or if you've got somebody that'll print, I mean, there's all kinds of stuff out there that's even just free that you could get to put in your journal. Um, <clears throat> I haven't looked, but I'm thinking there's probably a really good possibility that there's papers, <coughs> excuse me, papers and things out there. So uh, definitely, you know, get your, get your eyes on the internet and see what you can find because there is definitely a whole lot out there for you. You just have to, to look for it. And I think I'm gonna close the video out for today. I appreciate those of you that have come to watch. Hope you have an absolutely fabulous day and uh, get frosty.